Good morning, everyone. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning Dynamite Service with explosive results. So we are at a home today. We're going to be prepping this home uh, to be painted. Um, and so you really want to make sure that there's no dirt and grime. You really want a clean slate for these people to work with um, when they begin to uh, roll out their paint. Um, we're going to be using a house wash mix. We're going to beef it up a little bit stronger than normal. So instead of your, you know, 2% house wash mix, we'll probably be doing a 2.5%, 3% mix. Um, uh, we don't have to worry about fading anything. There are some things we're going to take down, uh, some, uh, uh, some awnings um, and some things that are on the building itself. So we've got some tools to do that. Uh, always carry a drill and multiple bits and uh, all the things that you may need. Um, whether it's vice grips, crescent wrench, whatever it is, um, you know, you're going to need lots of different tools. So, uh, but, you know, I tried to get them to do the sidewalks and, and or the uh, curbing and driveway, um, and they're not ready at this time because there are some, um, some areas that are compromised, you know, some lifting, got some roots growing up underneath there, which is cracked and, and uh, buckled the, the driveway, but uh, we will eventually do that. So we're going to do an enclosure, but we're not going to do the enclosure. We're going to do the pool deck itself. We're going to do a couple of different slabs. There's going to be some rust uh, that we're going to treat for. Um, and I'm going to do some little touch-ups, uh, like there's a vinyl fence a gate that I want to make sure that is clean. And, um, and we're going to do the house. You're going to see it's a brick house. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our blower. And I'm going to show you why. Uh, because as I got here, I can see that there's a tremendous amount of leaves. Um, uh, and so I want to uh, dust off her driveway for her. So we got a little over 4,000 square feet here and I'll turn you around really quickly. Nice brick home. Um, so we're gonna be doing a little brick restoration, but you can see that, you know, there's some leaves in the garage um, and this um, front porch here uh, is obviously has a lot of issues going on um, and uh, and there are some serious issues that are going on but we're going to put a nice hot mix inside of here after we blow out all these leaves um, and uh, and make this look really really pretty for her you cannot surface clean this because if you do you're going to end up with you know, making this entire patio look like this because the paint is so bad so you can lay a really hot mix on here and just simply rinse off um, maybe use your x-jet in some of those higher areas here they have done a faux stain on this brick um, and you can see how that's been washed uh, so you you have your normal color here and then you have this sort of distressed uh, look here so you want to be conscientious of that we will make sure the gutters are nice and bright and white um, and I'm going to take you around uh, the side over here and show you kind of um, you know what what we're uh, what we're looking at we have multiple uh, water sources throughout the property so that's good we have good water pressure when you get to a house you always want to make sure you have good water pressure and check out for certain things that are compromised you know you have you know areas where you've done sort of some makeshift stuff um, and so you want to make sure that your number one your hose isn't seized up uh, and if it is, you have to make the necessary adjustments. Um, I always keep a, uh, um, uh, you know, any type of uh, lubricating, penetrating oil, um, uh, you know, all, all different types of things that allow me to free up those hoses. But if I turn you around here, I want to show you a couple of things. Um, number one, you have had uh, ivy growing up alongside of the house. Um, and you have ivy trendles. So these feet uh, do not come off. This, this root system will come off, uh, but what you're left with, that's not gonna come off. So, um, you know, you have to be, uh, uh, you know, make sure that you let the homeowner know um, that that is going to be hand scrubbing. Um, now we will kill a great majority of it with our solution, but you can just see sort of the algae and things like that. Um, uh, but you're not getting that stuff off and you can really see what that looks like. So that's kind of a nightmare for painting in, in regards to prep. Um, uh, you know, I'm not a painter, but I uh, just wanted to, you know, sort of point that out. Um, you know what that looks like. Um, our soffit system sort of looks like this. So you can see your aeration. This is kind of an old school uh, system, um, you know, in lieu of uh, you can see your your breather. So, you know, your ventilation through there to allow the roof to breathe properly. Um, we'll take you around back and we'll show you some of the rust stains that we're going to lift up. So window sills, walls, um, do your best with the ivy trendles. Obviously, it's not a problem. Uh, it, you know, you don't want to apply too much pressure to that block. Um, so you don't want to sit there and blast it with a high pressure tip. 
Uh, but, um, you know, if some of the paint buckles and, and begins to peel, uh, it's certainly not a problem uh, because this house is going to be painted. Um, so I'll turn you around one more time if I break that spider web and uh, break that spider web. You can see, you know, what your fence looks like. You can see the green, the mold that's set up on there. So uh, we'll shoot that fence, make that look really pretty. And then we'll go inside the gate here and uh, turn you around really quickly. And what you're going to see is a small walkway. We're going to take care of that. We'll move all the furniture off of there. Uh, this is the awning that she would like to have removed. So we're going to take a look and see how that's fastened on there. And then, yeah, we oh, just got some, uh, some lag bolts there. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to take you inside the enclosure and show you sort of what the deck looks like. Um, so you can see your mildew set up and your algaes. Um, and you can see the cage, um, and, and there is oxidation present on the cage. So, um, you know, uh, the cage will not be getting done uh, today. We do have a good amount of spider webs. So while we're in here, we're gonna go ahead and shoot those off of there. Um, the cage has compromised paint. Um, and you know, and, and that those paint, uh, you know, that has to be sandblasted and then repainted. Um, but we are not gonna be cleaning the cage. We are gonna dust it off a little bit to make it look pretty, but you can just sort of see sort of what things look like around here. You know, the rust, the mildew, the dirt, the grime that's alongside of here, um, you know. And, uh, you know, from the furniture, there's lots of little rust stains everywhere. So we're gonna treat those with some oxalic acid. You can have, you can see clearly that there was a barbecue setting here at one time, um, you know, on your mold and your mildew. You obviously, you know, have a drain that's non-functional. Um, if this drain were functional and not clogged up, uh, then you, would, you wouldn't have your weed growth there. So um, we can run a jet through here and, uh, and, and, and sort of open up that drain um, and get rid of all those weeds and that type of thing there. So you can see sort of the, the work that we have. We also have this slab back here um, and you can kind of see what that looks like. Uh, so you got a lot of, a lot of mildew set up there. You got your rust stains from your furniture there. Um, and that's gonna sort of wrap up uh, pretty much everything. Um, I hope everyone's having a great day out there. Keep cleaning, Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning. This will be done with the X-Jet. We're gonna lay a hot 4% solution on the um, uh, flat work. Um, after we're done cleaning, uh, both with the surface cleaner, uh, this deck will get done with the surface cleaner. Um, and, uh, and maybe even uh, some turbo tipping. Um, uh, probably not. I'll probably run a surface cleaner on here. Um, and then after I'm done cleaning this, uh, because this is not a textured, this is not a, a painted deck, uh, same thing with the pool deck, um, this is not painted. So what we're gonna do is once we've done a full rinse, we're then gonna treat for our rust stains uh, with some oxalic acid. Uh, we'll rinse that off and we'll be, uh, we'll be all completed here. So, um, uh, you know, I use the X-Jet pretty much for everything. I lay my application on, I do my rinsing. Um, you're not gonna wanna clean with the X-Jet because it's just not enough. Um, you're gonna want your 2520. Uh, your, your tips, uh, your two gallon minute tips on the surface cleaner uh, for something like this, make quick work out of it and, uh, and a lot less splashing. So this will be a house wash and several pieces of flat work to do. Um, have a great day, keep cleaning. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning. Take care everyone. Look forward to the after video.